what should we think of the most in terms of, of how they leverage that? Is it the increase in travel and entertainment? Is that, is that how they are most leveraged to, to the reopening? Yeah, for Visa and MasterCard, the single most important thing is travel. Um, Pre-pandemic, travel, particularly international travel, was 20, almost 25 percent of their revenues. That took a hard hit in 2020, of course. And, uh, and so the most important driver over the next few quarters for them is exactly that rate and pace of borders reopening and when people are going to be willing to get back on airplanes and start traveling again. Wrapped around that comes other spending, entertainment spending, luxury goods spending, right? People want to buy the new outfit or buy like the handbag. Um, and all of that tends to be highly carded and often highly, you know, high use of credit card, all of which is, is good for Visa and MasterCard. Which, which uh, card processor or, or card um, issuer has the most leverage to corporate spending? And, and how does that factor in, in terms of viewing these, these players and, and how much they can, can benefit from that reopening? Yeah, yeah. So American Express has the most, um, you know, linkage to corporate spending, uh, you know, pre-pandemic. E even for them, though, it's a relatively, you know, smaller, maybe smaller than you'd think in terms of how much uh, is corporate T and E, like, you know, sort of in the 10 niche percent range. We're not, and they are not, really expecting that spending to come back, really ever, or certainly not for a number of years. Um, but on the flip side, with American Express, they, um, you know, they have. Uh, they are a huge recovery play if you believe in this sort of concept of, you know, the roaring 20s, the sort of luxury goods spending. They're very tied to high-end restaurants and luxury goods and travel. And so if you believe that consumers just can't wait to get back out there, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, Amex has that sort of offsetting. But they're the ones, you know, with the biggest exposure to corporate travel spending, which, you know, we and many others are expecting, you know, will likely really never go back to the levels it was pre-pandemic. If that is the case, and is there a permanent impairment to their valuation? Um, I, I mean, at some level, yes, meaning, yeah, that's a piece that, you know, I think everyone has just sort of taken out of numbers and is not expecting to come back in. Uh, in. They're, um, on the flip side, though, you know, what we've been talking about around digitization of payments broadly, um, of course, benefits them. And particularly for Amex, I'd highlight in small businesses, you know, small businesses have a ton of spending and are still actually were heavy check users, like 50% of small business payments were done with checks. Now with the pandemic, of course, people aren't in the office, they're not cutting checks. And so actually kind of, again, another offset with Amex uh, has been that actually, um, you know, kind of moving into valuation is now an expectation that some of that small business spending where they're also very, very strong, uh, will, um, you know, will now, you know, digitize more, much more quickly than it, than it was uh, what was happening pre-pandemic. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.